Now, we have strong storms pushing through now, but we have something that's going to happen in our atmosphere that is going to intensify these storms for today. Also, what is building up as we go through for tonight and tomorrow. And unfortunately, it's starting to look like what those storms were looking like for Florida when I warned y'all about those straight line winds coming, the potential derecho coming, and it brought a lot of damage towards the panhandle of Florida, Georgia, Alabama. A lot of people got hit with this. Now, unfortunately, this is looking like it's going to happen again and maybe in two different waves. Hey, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Monday to all of you. I'm going to give you all the latest updates on what's going on with the severe weather because it's showing not only damage and winds, but also showing potential chances for a hailstorm to come out with the bowing out feature. And it's not just for today. This is also going to build up, bring a lot of threats, and come right back again for tomorrow in same areas that got messed up. I believe the Panhandle of Florida had something like almost 400 electric poles that got snapped on that last event. So I'm going to give you all this information. That way you know what is happening, the best way you can prepare for this, and the timing potentially for these storms. Please help share this information to other people. Let them get prepared for it as well. I appreciate every single one of y'all. If you've never been here before, make sure you do subscribe. I am all year along with my weather forecast, and we're almost going into hurricane season, so make sure you click that bell. That way you do get the updates. Now, with these storms passing by, it is knocking out some power. And first, let's go to Florida because they're getting hit again multiple times, and they still have some counties that is still having power problems from the last time they got hit. So right now you have Mississippi. It is growing. It was 40. Now it's 46,000 without power. Florida, 22. Indiana, over 10. Louisiana, almost 10. And Texas. It's starting to add up for people where this windstorm, where this, all this strong winds, the hurricane winds are coming. It's going to come again for today. Mississippi, you got a second round coming as well. Also, Alabama. And not only that, you know how I like to report on all the air quality alerts we do get as well. We do have a lot of Canadian wildfires going on, and it is that time of season, everybody. So we do have the red quality over here for Minnesota and northern Wisconsin going towards the UP of Michigan. And that red is unhealthy. That's not for just sensitive groups. That is unhealthy for everybody. So just be aware. I believe, Minneapolis, you are number one right now in the world for bad air quality. And you can see this right here. You have 184 particles. You are number one so far in the world for air quality right now. You are in the unhealthy levels. So if you are in any of these red areas, even the orange, if you have asthma, be aware that even the orange for asthma but just straight down into the city all this red alerts be aware this is unhealthy levels and you really shouldn't be breathing any of this in so be careful going outside or strenuous activity while you're outside because that could trigger some health problems especially if you have asthma be on high alert if you have asthma now for today you see it has grown into the enhanced feature that is for large hail from Texas on and hurricane winds. But you do have your chances for tornadoes also. You have the 2% in the green going all the way down Florida as those cells comes across as well. And you have the 5% in the brown. Here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. Plus you have the wind threat and hurricane force winds all in this black hatched area. Very powerful wind and this 30 section. Just be aware of that. We also have the 15 and the 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today. And the strongest winds expected is the white and red line on top. And you have the hail threat for today. Even significant hail still expected in this black hatched area and very large hail in this 30%. Plus, you have the 5% coming with the rest of these storm cells. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. National Weather Service has severe thunderstorms are expected today from central and east Texas across parts of the Gulf Coast states. The potential may develop for corridors of significant wind gusts, very large hail, and a few tornadoes. Now, central and eastern Texas for today, large hail will be your main threat and potentially two to four inches in diameter. So keep that in mind. But later on, they are expecting the MCS, a mesoscale convective system, and this is going to bring more primary threats of chances for QLCS tornadoes, quasi-linear convective systems where it's almost in a straight line and you see all those hail cores going with it. 
potentially getting an embedded cell in there. So just be aware of that. Plus, that line of storms that moves through the rest of the Gulf Coast states. There could be a chance as you go through the evening and overnight for damage and winds and a tornado threat. Now, this is happening twice. First, I'll show the South Central. Then, I'll show the Southeast. You can see as you get those storms that's coming through for this morning for y'all, when you look at your temperatures aloft, your 850 millibars, you see you're starting to get some cold air aloft on that, and that will help intensify that line of storms also bring chances for hail as that moves to the east. I will show you with zoomed in radar in just a moment. I just want to break a point to you. Now you can see as you go through for the rest of today, you've got this big cell that's going to start brewing up for central and southern Texas. And that's going to start going towards the coast of Texas. This is where you're going to start getting hail cores. I'll show you. You can see the hail cores a lot better. As you're going through this afternoon, you still got some hail cores coming through that. I will show you why this is still going towards the southeast. We'll do this in two different sections. Then you see as you go through the evening, it builds and builds and builds. Then as you go for tonight, later tonight, it's been showing all of them has been later tonight, that you do have the cold air aloft starting to build up again for that system bringing chances for large hail, and this will strengthen the storm. The cold air wants to sink, the warm air wants to rise, you get your instability, and you get your strong storm as that comes through. Bringing chances for embedded cells in there as well, bringing chances for the tornado. So it's not just very large hail, it's not just damaging winds, also chances for a tornado. Now this is coming back again for this evening when you have that second round of storms when it brings all those hail cores. You can see those hail cores do have strong winds aloft as you go through 3 and 4 p.m. and it gets stronger. Bring in chances for tornadoes as that line of storms moves across. Below you got that bow and out feature in those storms as you go through 5 p.m. and you still got the strong winds aloft. Look how it builds right back up on those storm cells as you go through the evening. So it could bring the damage and winds as well, but it could bring a quick spin up, just like last time when I saw this for the Panhandle of Florida. If you remember, we saw the same thing and it had damage and winds. Also, we had multiple tornadoes touch down around Southern Alabama and Panhandle of Florida. 7 p.m., look at the storms pushing through. Now you're getting some damage and winds, but you can't rule out a singular cell, an embedded cell in there that could get some rotation with that. Then it starts weakening down a little bit more as it pushes those damage of winds right across Louisiana. Still got the winds aloft the whole time across. And you can see the view a little bit better as it goes through the rest of the southeast as you go through the rest of the morning. You can see the bowing out feature in the storms and you can see you do have that cold air aloft right with that system as that pushes to the east. Now as it keeps going as you go towards noon and on, it's going to go right towards Florida again, the same place that got messed up last time as that continues to push out all the way to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Got the cold air aloft still with it all the way as it goes across. Starts weakening down a little bit as it goes by 2. Still see damage and winds in there and look how it still consists of strong cells as you go through 5 p.m. Plus you have that next group of storms as that comes from Texas and Louisiana. That's going to push across Louisiana and go towards Mississippi. It's going to strengthen up some more. You get more bowing out. So far, it's getting pushed into the Gulf a little bit, which is a good thing. But you can obviously see all the cold air aloft. Look at that. You can even see the warm center and the cold air around it. So just be aware, this is going to be a strong push as that goes through for midnight, early in the morning now. Same area with the bowing out feature. Cold air aloft running all the way across with this storm system as it comes by early in the morning and then keeps persisting through as you go through for tomorrow morning. Then you get some strong cells that comes across the Gulf, could potentially strengthen up while it's in the Gulf, becomes a water spouse over here for western Florida. Be aware of this. This is for Tuesday morning. As those cells come across, it could easily bring up a quick spin up. You know how quick y'all do get those because where y'all at. You can also see with the winds aloft for today, it is going to strengthen up as you go through this afternoon on those storms pushing through, bringing you damage and winds. Be aware of this. It will happen again. It's going to happen twice. So if you're in Tallahassee or in the Panhandle of Florida, please be aware you have some strong situations coming your way. And it's not just once. 
is going to be twice. As this comes from Louisiana and strengthens up, like I showed you already, it comes by Mississippi, southern Alabama. Then when it gets towards Florida again, overnight hours, when you get that next one coming across, this isn't the same one. This is a different one coming across. Matter of fact, when we zoom in and look at these cells building for Texas this afternoon, as it goes all evening long and moves across. Now, this is the 15-minute increments. This gives you a little bit more detail. When you look at the winds coming with those cells, it is showing chances for 70, chances for 80. The red is 90, showing very powerful winds coming with those storm cells as it goes across. And everything pushing to the south is getting to the 40s and 50s as well. But these cells are very powerful. Showing that as this comes from Texas into Louisiana, still bringing very strong winds with all these storm cells as this pushes across. Still bringing the 70s and the 80s, even got the 90s going into the Gulf of Mexico. Be aware of this, and it is pushing all night long. Now you're looking at 11 o'clock and on. Look at all that. That is a lot of high winds that is coming with this storm for tonight. And look at the bow now. And it is going to push more towards the southeast. This is a lot of high winds. We can see a lot better with the 15-minute increments. And this is showing a very big concern. I believe this will be upgrade for a bigger and broader area for chances for hurricane force winds. Also, the hail. Bring in large hail with those storms as you go through 1 o'clock this afternoon. Then it builds up for Texas with those cells that brings all those strong winds. And it comes right back across Louisiana again. So the first set of storms that come across all the way to the Florida Panhandle and southern Alabama bring a chance for large hail with that as well. And as you go through tonight and into the morning, bring a chance for large hail as it goes right through downtown New Orleans. Look at that. Be warned of this. This is a very strong system, bringing a lot of winds and chances for large hail and potential tornadoes. Don't forget the tornadoes. Plus, chances for tornadoes for tomorrow. You can see you do have that 2% going on for tornadoes for those storm cells as they pass by. Here's just cities and states at risk. Plus, a wind threat for tomorrow, and I believe this wind threat will be ramped up. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. Plus the hail threat for tomorrow. It shows a smaller area, but I think the wind threat could be changed. Now, as this goes across Georgia and South Carolina for tomorrow, because those areas are where it has grown a little bit, they're expecting damage and wind gusts as your primary threat. Could be a brief tornado or two, but you can see with your convection probabilities, probably going to be 5% wind and 2% tornadoes. Now, you do have a line of storms moving through Missouri over from Kansas City all the way down Springfield through northwestern Arkansas by Fort Smith going through Oklahoma as you go through this morning. Now, that's going to keep going to the east and weaken while it rotates around this upper level low, this is going to bring storms towards Chicago. This is going to be a little isolated in nature. But you see how it's going to bring storms pretty much from Chicago to Peoria, all the way through Iowa, northern Missouri. Some of Nebraska, South Dakota, through St. Louis as well. You see how it just rotates all even along. Just stays there. And then for tomorrow, it's going to come from western Tennessee, western Kentucky. Going to southern Illinois, that's going to be sporadic as you go through tomorrow evening as well. There's going to be a few areas, anywhere from Carolina to the Virginia to Ohio and Tennessee Valley. It's just going to be isolated. You see how it's not super everywhere. But once you go to tomorrow night, then you get an upper level low coming back again. Might bring some chances for hail in some of these storm cells. It is isolated in nature. It's going right off the coast with that low pressure system. But you do see there is some hail there. So just be aware that it is going to be isolated and sporadic, but it's still big and broad. A lot of people is going to see these little storms passing by. But first, let's talk about what's going to happen down here in the south. Also, because this is going to be strong. Now, when you see all this white and blue and in the black in there, that's representing hail, large hail coming out of this storm. Matter of fact, this looks like a hail storm with the bow and out features showing strong winds and hail coming right out of that banding as you go all morning long, all the way to 11, 12 o'clock. Goes by Tallahassee again. Looks like it's kind of weakening at this stage as that comes by. But then we have what grows for Texas for today. So let's start off with what you're going to have in Texas, and we're going to follow it across. You see, as you go through the morning, it starts building up. You do even get chances for large hail in there, a little southern of San Antonio. 
And after you go by noon, this is going to move over towards east. This is where you're starting to get the winds aloft. This is where you're starting to get some damage and winds as well. Chances for hail, Corey, even large hail as you go through 3 o'clock, 4 this afternoon, all the way from Corpus Christi, all the way towards Beaumont. Now, as that strings across, it's still bringing some cells in front of it across Louisiana. You can see right there for New Iberia, got a hail core in there. So you do got to watch out for that. Now, as you go all the way till 4, still got hail cores. As a matter of fact, look at that by Beaumont. Look at all that black. That's showing chances for large hail right there in that black. Large hail in all the white, but very large hail in that black. But all these cities are going to be at risk for large hail as you go through this afternoon. It is going to carry across for southwestern Louisiana from Lake Charles through Lafayette, mile down for New Orleans for right now on this second storm system, but it will strengthen right back up as this comes across towards you. So as you go through the evening, after you go by four, start going towards five o'clock. There you go, almost six o'clock. It's starting to leave Houston now, it's starting to leave uh, the rest of Texas, but now you got it strengthening and coming into Louisiana. Now, this is where you got a lot of hail cores coming again, 5, 6 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock. Look at this. This is all because of the cold air aloft, strong winds aloft, bringing all this. Now, as you go towards 7 o'clock, it starts going towards Mandeville, towards North Shore now, bringing all these storms all the way from New Iberia, all the way to Baton Rouge as well. So, there's a lot of storms pushing out with this for today, for tonight, and then all the way until later tonight. And here you go, 9 o'clock. Now it's going to southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, with all these strong storm cells with hail, with damage of winds. You got the cold air aloft. You got the winds aloft. And remember, this strengthens. So here you go at midnight. We are looking literally at midnight now. People are going to be sleeping. This is still hours away. This could still move around a little bit. And this got a lot of large hail and damage and winds bowing this out. This is literally a nasty hailstorm for today and for tomorrow. Here you go at one o'clock in the morning. Now it's bowing out again. And this could easily once again be further to north, a little bit further to the west or the east. Could be right over Tallahassee. We got it going from southern Georgia all the way by Panama City. Y'all gonna see what y'all saw last time. And it does go by Tallahassee once again for 2 o'clock in the morning. Everyone needs to be warned of this. This is going to be strong storms pushing through. Then it's going to weaken across as it comes across the rest of Florida. Thank you for your time, everybody. That has been the weather forecast. If this has helped you in any way, please think of others. Please share this to other people, other platforms. Let people see this information so you get the timing and intensity of these storms because this is going to be pretty serious. Thank you again for helping. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Now, before you go, 1 Peter 3, 15 through 20. Always be ready. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Amen. Make sure you check on your neighbors. Make sure you check on your pets. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day. Be careful. Watch the air quality. I'll see you again in the morning.